Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan and I won the first round of this draft. This M14 draft, the very first one against Fury Swe. He was also from Sweden. Uh, I'm Swedish, that's why I talk English. Like a drunk Viking. And now I'm going to the second round with my blue-green uh, giant smash face deck. And this is an archetype I asked you to stay away from in M13. And now I'm telling you it's draftable. You have received the removal you need, the time ebbs, the claustrophobias, etc. To make this into a feared archetype. And now having said that, having banged my drum a lot here, I will probably want to this draft. But anyway, I'm gonna post it. It's gonna be the first M14 draft on YouTube pretty much. So, uh, oh, one of the first at least. And I'm quite excited. I just tweeted the draft video. And I'm ready for more and I hope I don't disappoint. The people in the second round are with uh, winning records are Commissar Gaunt, Lord Tupperware and Urban Leg. And I'm so happy I don't have to scout them like I had to do before. Because uh, you can't do that now. So if I played on the new client I would have known the seating order and I could have deduced some information on what people were drafting or not. And maybe you could. Maybe you did. Maybe you saw that in the first video. But we don't know the seating so maybe you didn't. Anyway, if you feel that there's anything I miss, if I play incorrectly, please let me know, because I'm doing this to improve my game. But also, please tell me the minute and second when you see a mistake. So at 8 minutes 20 seconds, you should have played the time ab, you stupid Swedish idiot. That's perfectly okay, but if you say, uh, you should, could have played the time ab there, dude, I don't know what you mean. And uh, I have now 1361 videos on the channel, so I, ha I can't remember them all. Commissar Gaunt. Once again, the two land hand. <sighs> and I'm keeping it again. And I will probably live to regret it, but he's starting at least. Stay away from white, Dom told me before this draft. And so I did. Well, a forest then, and then I'll miss my fifth land drop uh, all day, if it's okay with you. Oh, maybe it's slivers! That guy is really good on his own, actually. And I will happily block him to death with my voracious worm. Two more turns in which to draw land to cast a rumbling bailoth. If you cast a predator sliver now, I am in trouble. But he's black. Oh, I cast a steel form sliver, so he's two treeing me in the head. And right now, slivers look really strong. But there is something good. So do I really want to waste my claustrophobia here? Because they won't, they won't get past the rumbling bailoth, and the bonus they uh, get, it's there all the time. I'll go down to fourteen. I have to waste it. I think I'm falling behind too much. If I don't do this, and now I really want to draw more cards, so I can get into. Um, air Servant and Mind Seeker. Tenacious Dead. Well, they don't matter a lot. And another Bubbling Cauldron. It's amazing. Card is so bad. But that's why we play these early games, because people just can't read the cards. I am Rumbling Bailoth. Come to destroy you all. Though he's actually not the one who's gonna destroy you all, but uh, because the Air Force is gonna destroy you all. Draw one more land, cast the Mind Seeker. No more slivers, please. Uh, no! 
My ruin rod! God damn it! You took my rod of ruin! You filthy bastard! I will take your rod of ruin! Oh, that sounded nasty. Uh, okay, well, uh, Rumbling Bailoth pays you a visit. Hello, I'm Rumbling Bailoth. Sorry, maybe I should keep the comedy down in the first uh, M14 video. And I'm Air Servant, come to wreck your day. Now, if he attacks with the Sentinel Sliver, do I really block with Air Servant? Uh, probably not. And let's hope I draw the land. Drawing the land. Getting Mindseeker. Living the dream. But I have now put a four turn clock on the board. And he does not have a clock similar to that one. And now he has a blocker. And that means that he is free to block. So let's uh, make him block. Uh, attack with the Racious one, but I haven't seen the flare yet, so I'm not gonna do it. But he plays a main deck to rest, that's worth noting. Yeah, you can spend mana all day. And I... Ooh. That's a combo, isn't it? It is actually quite a combo. But it's not developing your board very much. But you will get a swing in with your stupid sentinel sliver now. And I will not block it. Well, if he gets... Okay, it's that time again, you know. The time of Jace's Mindseeker. And uh, now I must start considering if he is gonna planar cleansing me. Okay, they go into the graveyard. Blood Baron, Festering Newt, Dark Favor and Plains. I can't cast any of those. So that's a bleeding shame. But I can smack a lot of face. So I guess I will. Let's make him pay some time here. Planar cleansing would truly suck. Because I definitely have to overcommit to get past this cauldron idea. I definitely have to bring in naturalize here. Oh! So we uh, swing with everything maybe? So it goes down to 8 here. I still have 2 turns to... Well, I'm keeping him down. And he quits in disgust to the blue horde. So, do I need Naturalize, do I need Plummet, do I need Coral Merfolk, do I need Trollhide, do I need Frost Breath? That's not my main deck. This is my main deck. 
and I am gonna take out Road of Ruin and bring in Naturalize instead. But no, I only saw one target, but he is white black, so he's sure to have like a pacifism or something. So I'm bringing that in. What about the other stuff? Plummet? Do white black actually have decent flyers? Maybe they don't. Frost breath? Troll hide? I don't know about Trollhide. I think I will receive a lot of comments about Trollhide that you want me to play Trollhide, but I have to play creatures. And everything else that I'm playing deals with creatures, right? And I'd rather deal with them than uh, setting me up for two for ones. So let's try to crush Commissar Gaunter. And I actually have mana this time, but not enough. Not enough. Because my stupid deck starts playing at four mana. But I'm not gonna send this back. This is the deck I built. I'm gonna take it, I hope. And now there would be like... <laughs> that guy is just stupid. Uh, if he played like the Skeleton in M13, I would be scared. If he played like a Tormented Soul, I would be scared with this hand. But this guy, he just doesn't do it a lot. But now I have... I can't play the Rumbling, but I can play the Briar Pack. Oh, Mana Weft Sliver. Uh, that's something I really wanted to kill, but... Can't. That, there's my mana. So now I want him to overextend and cast more called Vampire. It was the other guy who had more called Vampire, right? And he's green too, so he has uh, three colors. Oh, he's the three color Sliver deck. So we want an enchantment or an artifact on the board. Enchantment or artifact. Is this guy gonna fall for the Briar Pack Alpha thing? And he has the Ursa Throne. Whoa, so much mana. So much dirty one ones. It's crazy. Uh, are they artifacts? No, they are scoreless. <laughs> Okay, a predatory sliver now, and I'm in trouble! No more land, please. <laughs> Whoa! I even forgot I had two briar packs. That's just crazy. Okay, we are keeping up naturalized mana. We are gonna take four here, unless he plays predatory sliver, in which case, gonna take seven and be in trouble. He has seven mana, he's gonna empty his hand. But no, he cast Bloodbairn. And of course, Bloodbairn is fairly powerful here. With all these sacrifice outlets. <sighs> okay, it's definitely... Is it definitely the mana guy? Who must die? Or do I block the blood ban and force him to sacrifice two of them? I think I do, actually. Maybe it's the corpse hauler. Who am I blocking here? That's a really hard decision. I think I'm blocking the blood baron, forcing him to sacrifice, but he will return it. So I'm first blocking the corpse holder this turn. Living dangerously, because he could do 12 damage here. So next turn I have to block the blood baron. Oh my god, I didn't think of it. That's a horrible. That's tenacious dead. The blood burn combo is really bad for me. 
Why didn't he kill me? Wow, why didn't he kill me? Okay, he must have been drinking or something. Please stop talking when I say I'm filming. Oh my god! Wow! This is pretty intense! Yeah, he's got his combo going. Can I counter that combo? Maybe I need to play Trollhide here. To uh, actually regenerate against his attacks. I'm blocking that guy. And I'm blocking Mono Weft. And he let Bloodburn die when he had the kill. But now I can't save myself. That doesn't work. So he will kill me anyway. With his one ones that I Laughed at. That's an artifact creature at least. Wow. Uh, okay. Bern plus dead works very well so we will have to use troll hide to block it we also have a lot of spells to stop it kill it so what do we not need it's possibly a scroll thief here claustrophobia will deal with it Fire Shriek will deal with it. I'm playing first. I'm in the lead, don't forget that. The naturalize feels really stupid and I'm once again not doing anything before turn 4. And will that be enough? At least I have mana. Commissar Gaunt is choosing whether to mulligan to 6 cards and he keeps his hand. So we have seen 2 targets for the naturalize and I don't regret having it in the deck. Oh, Festering Newt, that's a lot better than anything else that he could have possibly played there. Because Festering Newt just is not very good without the witch. And the witch is not very good without festering newt. Okay, no more mana please. There's the mana weft sliver. So he will now have mana acceleration. Which I'm sadly lacking. Tree drop, please! Scroll safe! Yes! 
Okay, this changes things a lot because he can't block scroll thief with the creatures he has. So now he has to play something that can, and hopefully that is a construct. We have all the time in the world. The matches are really quick here. Uh, plus O, plus one sliver. No, the first drive lifelink paladin. Well, he can block. Can't be the target of black or red spells. Well, that doesn't matter a lot, does it? So we have Scroll Thief on the threatening job. We cast the Rumbling Bailoth. That will rule the world, pretty much. Or at least hold the ground while the messenger drake does its stuff. Oh, dark favor! That's pretty good actually. Because now he will attack and then scroll thief can attack. And giant growth. Throw away your cards. Yes, do it. Okay, now I feel pretty good. And three drop. No. So I attack here. What do you do then? And he chooses to not block. And I get an extra card while he threw away his giant growth. Uh, naturalize will work over time. As will this troll hide. And he threw away his giant growth, so maybe I should have cast the troll hide on the scroll thief, but that felt Oh no, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Okay, I need a new plan. And Lorch steals the game. I have to block it. He is 12 10 trample. And I block it. I go to two lives. And then I will try to block him with troll hide. Kill him. Uh, it's a very brittle proposition. He can actually attack me with the sliver. So I, I have to naturalize the dark favor here. To reduce the damage. Block it. Take it all. Go to six. And now I can block with a messenger drake. Well, I still draw cards. But if he has like one more trick, I'm in deep trouble. Well, now I'm hoping he has one more trick. His five cards are Sentinel Sliver, Hive Stirrings, which I can cast. Siphon Sliver, Sentinel Sliver and Swarm. So I cast High Stirrings. Sliver Construct.
corpse hauler is really dangerous here because he can get back something. Like what? Vigilance liver, that's not enough. So it is troll hide time. And he's letting me draw cards again. Disperse. Okay, disperse time ab. I think I have to time ab the friend's lay paladin. Because time is definitely on my side here. I will block with the festering newt and kill his liver. But he doesn't. And then let's withdraw yet another card. And <laughs> hmm. I keep I sensor deprive the friend slave paladin. I play the rumbling bailoth. The messenger Drake. And then I have Disperse for his tricks, if he has any. Charging Griffin, who becomes a tree tree when he attacks. Disperse that. And now we have claustrophobia for it. So we attack with everything and leave Rumbling Bailoth sitting behind. Still doesn't block. It's just amazing. So we play Rumbling Bailoth. And next turn we will Claustrophobia the uh, thing. Okay, slivers have double strike. But you only have one. Oh, the construct. So we block that thing. We block that thing. Killing them both.
double claustrophobia. Down, boy. I'm leaving. How much damage is this? 10 plus 10. I need to attack with both, both times. So if it draws like one giant growth, but it's gone there. So I'm going to attack. Maybe he blocks with the corpse holder and I can kill it. Oh, he does have the Finslay Paladin as well. That could attack. So I get to draw a card, maybe draw a blocker, yes! I know he has the flyer. But I think I'm gonna do it to the corpse hauler. Returning Siphon Sliver, but that's way too late. Yes! And that, kids, is why you never let Scroll Thief hit you. Because in this match, Scroll Thief was the MVP. I even sideboarded out the Scroll Thief, remember? Thank you for watching Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan, I'm 2 0 in this draft.